This is a basic manoeuvre load diagram. This diagram is not specific to a particular aeroplane type, but it does represent a VN flight envelope that is common to most aeroplanes. In this example, the horizontal axis represents the airspeed. Equivalent airspeed is used here, which is defined as the airspeed at sea level in the international standard atmosphere. The difference between equivalent airspeed and calibrated airspeed is negligible in the lower range of speeds. Only at higher speeds and higher altitudes does the difference emerge due to compressibility. The vertical axis represents the load factor, which is defined as the ratio of lift generated by the aeroplane to its weight. The load factor is equal to 1 in straight and level flight. The load factor is a good measure of the structural stresses the aeroplane is subjected to when in flight. In simple terms, this diagram represents how much load factor can be exerted on the aeroplane at a particular airspeed to avoid structural damage or failure. Let's identify some of the features of this diagram. The speed and load factor range within the OACDE section of the envelope represents the positive manoeuvre boundary also known as the limit positive load factor. The negative manoeuvre boundary, or the limit negative load factor, is a near reflection of the positive side and is represented by the OHFE section. Point O represents the zero speed and zero load factor. Point S is the stall speed at level flight and the load factor of 1. The V speed designator is VS. Point A is the positive load factor limit. The V speed designator is VA. The air speed corresponding to point A is called manoeuvring speed. The load factor limit cannot be exceeded at speeds slower than point A speed because the aeroplane will stall first. However, the load limit can be exceeded at speeds faster than point A speed. Certain manoeuvres at speeds faster than point A have the potential risk to cause deformation or structural failure if the load factor limit is exceeded. The safety factor on the airframe is 1.5. Failure of the structure will not occur at the load factor of 2.5, but it can occur at 3.75. Permanent deformation of the structure may occur at load factors between 2.5 and 3.75 so it's not safe to assume that the load factor may be increased above the limiting value just because there is a safety factor. The lines AC and HF are the maximum positive and negative load factor limits as per certification specification 23 or 25. The aeroplane can fly in speed range of lines CD and FE. However, the higher aerodynamic loads due to the higher speeds require a reduction in the maximum permissible load factor. This speed range should be flown with caution. The V speed designator for point C and F is VC which stands for Design Cruise Speed. DE is the maximum speed the aeroplane is allowed to fly. The V speed designator is VD, which stands for Design Diving Speed. This is the highest speed achieved in testing of the aeroplane.